Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Tell me what you know, and the next time the Reef King asks me about you two, I'll forget about your whereabouts. I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the Red Man. He's in my house. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. I'll have to get the mayor on the phone. Hello everyone, my name is Ken and welcome to Bear With Me Episode 2. Now if you guys are very, very interested in Episode 1, you could go back in my library a little bit and find Episode 1 there. So let's hop into Episode 2, I have been putting this off for long enough. I believe I'm going to be using this as a plug game. Exordium Games presents... Bear With Me. Episode 2! I've been so jazzed for this for so long. Just because of the style and the black and white like it's noir styled and... Uh, spoiler alert, this is all built inside a kid's head because everything that she encounters, every person, every little stupid thing she needs to do is based off of toys, which I absolutely adore. I also like these points and click games, specifically for the very good voice acting and the fact that I don't have to talk too much, so you guys get saved from that. Well, 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 look what the booze dragged in. Wow, that was really bad. Cut me some slack, all right? I had a long night. Hi, Betty. Long time no see. Not long enough. Always a charmer, Ted. Hi, darling. It's been a while. You're still as pretty as ever, and you've grown. Oh, uh, thank you, Betty. You look amazing. Are you getting ready for a casting call? Huh, yeah. It's for a movie called 24 Hour Shift Survivor. You really look the part, babe. Don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking, Bear? I couldn't hear you over the sound of you being so short. It's like you're not even trying anymore. Ah, I missed you, Bear. Literally. So yeah, are we going to pretend that never happened? You had it coming! Wait, what? Yeah, your bestie here tried to shoot me. I'm sure you deserved it. He did. Women, you can't kill him, but they'll sure as hell try to kill you. Oh, please stop being such a drama queen, Ted. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. What are you talking about? You missed my head by half an inch, grazed my left ear, and I fell out of a 20th floor window. I was in the intensive care for two weeks, and you didn't even have the face to show up. Did you not get the flowers? I did. They were lovely. And nothing says I'm sorry like a funeral wreath. Sorry? After what you did? I'm thinking I should finish the job right now. Hell hath no fury indeed. It seems you two have a history together. That's an understatement. Never mind that now. Avoiding touchy subjects as always, I see. You've matured so much, Ted. No, not at all. It's just we're kind of in a hurry. Kind of in a hurry to find CBG, Flint, and the Red Man. So, have you seen CBG? Have you seen CBG? I was told he hangs around the harbor lately. Yeah, he's here all right. And hanging around is really the perfect choice of words. How can we find him? You can start at the container terminal. He's been there almost every night for the past couple of weeks, chasing seagulls and yelling at the terrified harbor workers. You talk to him lately? He comes in every so often, usually waits for everyone to leave and then sneaks in. He almost gave me a heart attack the other day. What happened to him? He was brilliant once. Best detective in the whole world. Well, second best. <laughs> Anyways, one day he just snapped and he was never the same again. I guess that kind of lifestyle takes its toll on people. Just ask Ted here. It's only a matter of time before he starts raving on the streets about seagulls and populace control. But Ted's retired. Yep. Here I am, just enjoying my retirement. Retired? Hmm, never took you for a hobbyist. <sighs> and no, Ted, getting drunk isn't a hobby. Getting drunk is definitely not a hobby. 
this game is so awesome and Ted can speak forever that baritone beautiful voice in my ears. Okay, so we are looking for Flint. Have you seen him? We're looking for Flint. Have you seen him lately or talked to anyone who has? Flint? Oh, I've heard about that. Darling, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Betty. We actually thought he might be here in Paper City. I'm afraid I haven't seen him for quite a while now. You haven't seen him for quite a while, but she knows something. What do you know about the Red Man? Recently, we came across some evidence suggesting the Red Man might have something to do with Flint's disappearance. I know you've heard about him, so... What's going on here, babe? What's going on, Ted, is that this maniac came down to the city with the sole purpose of burning it down to the ground with everyone still in it. I don't know what the hell he is, but judging by the stories, he's the devil himself. I pray that he didn't have anything to do with Flint's disappearance. I love the fact that this is 1950s based and very chauvinistic because he calls everybody babe or doll or something stupid. It is so great. It is going to trigger so many people. And I'm so good with that. Who told you about Flint? Who told you about Flint? Blabbermouth was here recently. It seems he's doing some sort of investigation on the events surrounding the Red Man. Hmm. He's looking to get killed, more likely. I'm sure he'll be just fine, Ted. He's been doing this for a long time. Doing what? Hiding in the bushes and going through people's trash cans? You should really give him more credit. Every case you solved, he was the one that wrote an expose about it. He basically made you famous. Huh. I'll send him a gift basket. He won't. Is he still writing for the paper daily? He's their top news hound. Is that Pete over there? Yep, that's old Pete. Who's Pete? He works here at the docks. He sure is. He has a bit of a drinking problem. You can relate, right? Don't get smart with me, babe. What exactly is he doing around here? Oh, this and that. Mainly he's in charge of the drawbridge and some other stuff. Is he off duty? I guess so. No bridges need drawing at the moment. Well, if you can wake him up, you can ask him that yourself. Good luck, though. I've been trying to wake him up for a while now. He's out cold. Yeah. Anyways, we're leaving. We have to find CBG. Thank you, Betty. Good luck with your next audition. Thank you, darling. Good luck with your case. And Ted. What? Be safe. Maybe we can get together someday after all this is over. Have a cup of coffee or something? Sure thing, babe. I'd like that. Bye, Betty. Betty, babe. So, you and Betty. Shut up. Just shut up, Amber. Fuck's sake. You are such a child. Okay, so now comes the part where I randomly need to click on absolutely everything to see what I can collect. So, starting with the popcorn. Let's see what I get. The walk cycle. Fuck. I'll just grab that while no one's looking. It is the most awkward thing in the world for, to have a long walk cycle in this game because if I click on something I never know when I need to shut my face because I'm either going to interrupt something or it's going to interrupt me. I'll take this, it could be useful. So if there are really weird long awkward pauses between Ted walking and picking up something and saying something, please forgive that because I don't want to fuck up this let's play and I really do enjoy the game and I'm in it for the story so hopefully the walk cycle won't keep catching me at some point I'll learn to get the hang of the timing I guess just the thing the thing I don't have any change see it fucked me um okay boxers I spent 12 hours in a box once until she remembered that we were playing hide and seek just amber things the game is also very aware of itself and I love that it's making fun of like memes and shit like that because it is so good. This is obviously a Nimbus. That's some fancy broom. Still a broom though. Yes, yes it is Amber. Very astute of you. Uh, what else can I click on? Bar stool, bar stool. That's probably not going to do anything. Can I smack Pete in the face? Pete, for fuck's sake, wake up. Can I pull the fire alarm? It's just for decorative purposes. Nothing works here. Shit. Uh, there goes that plan. Uh, Ted, Ted, my friend, uh, you are standing on a thing. Okay, so let's see what's Who's in the, the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about. Shaft. Right on. Okay, so let's see what's in the shafts, other than the fucking stupid reference. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got everything in here that doesn't look like anything else. Small and sort of out of place is. Clickable, I guess, is the word. 
Um, so I can't do anything with Pete. Let's see if Betty has anything else to say. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? It's for the poor. It's for the poor. Come on, who do you take me for? That's for me. It's for me. <laughs> you're supposed to cure the hangover the next day, Bear. Not while you're still drunk. Oh, wow. Are you here all week? Is it the two drinks minimum? I mean, why isn't there a sitcom about you already? Actually, my agent is working on it. Don't let him work too hard. Okay, so as I was saying, the game is very aware of itself and it likes joking with itself and also references itself every now and then. So that's why I love this. You can also see this as a sort of child's dream, if I can put it that way, because everything is like sticky taped together and decorated the way a child would. Like nothing's perfect. Some of the things don't work. Some of the things are missing. And I love that. It's for the lab. It's for the lab. We're getting into some molecular coffeeology. Whatever gets you off the streets, honey. But our coffee is just brown paint and water. Not much to analyze there. Is that... Is that a no on the coffee, then? That's a no, Ted. Coffeeology sounds like it should be a religion. We need it to save the president's life. Yeah? And who is our president? That's a trick question. We don't have one. Ted, your aloofness knows no bounds. I am not saying one word about politics because I will trigger the fuck out of everyone and then my entire comment section will just turn into a political debate. And that nobody wants. Okay, I'll creepo. Hmm. There's Clark. He seems to be fishing, but something is... Don't say it! ...fishy about him. Oh my god, the puns. Love it, though. Uh, let's go over and chat to Clark and see what Clark knows. Creepy Clark, as a matter of fact. Uh, I don't know where Amber finds these toys, because a lot of it you can derive is her brother's old toys, because I'm assuming Flint is a little bit older than Amber is. And I also have a theory about said flinty flintness that hopefully will come to light soon. Hi, Clark. Caught anything yet? Oh, great. It's you two. Nothing yet. I think I'll just call the night soon. I can't keep my eyes open anymore. So, you're fishing to get by. Times are tough. Fishing to get by? It's not the 1600s, Ted, now is it? No one fishes to get by anymore. I do it recreationally, like as a hobby. In the middle of the night, while it's raining, yeah, well, I got this raincoat, don't I? And I don't have to work in the morning. I'm a successful entrepreneur, actually. I made a fortune selling bubbles. Bubbles? It's all rather complicated. I can do a presentation if you have a minute. I'm afraid... Hell, no. He means we're in a hurry, but maybe some other time? Fine! I, I guess I can just give you this pamphlet. You can read about it in there. Sure, we'll, um, read it later. <laughs> I can't wait. And you being here at this ungodly hour has nothing to do with a certain waitress. Clark. Betty? No, no, we're just friends is all. I'm not stalking her. Sure seems like it. Well, I'm not. I don't care what the court has to say. It's just I'm here because I like fishing. You're not even looking at the water. You're turned towards the diner. I don't have to look at the bloody water to fish. It's pitch dark anyways. When I see the pole getting twitchy, I, I get to reeling. That's it. Sure. All right. I'll just go back to it then. And I'm sure you're very busy. Can you, like, not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. And scaring away the you. More like it. Okay, bye. See you later, Clark. I'll be here. I bet you will. I don't give a fuck what I'm scaring. Also, Clark's voice sounds a lot like a very squeaky version of Tash. And that is a little unsettling to me. Okay, let us go to the bridge. I believe there was a drawbridge person I needed to see in the drawbridge container control sensor thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I love these games because I can just get hopelessly lost and then just start clicking on everything and then there's a simple answer for everything. Okay, so this oil is obviously a thing I need. Just grab that real quick. Why don't you grab it real quick, short stuff? Very quippy. Um, also, a lot of this game, a, a lot of things will be obvious and a lot of it will not. So hopefully I don't fuck up completely and get stuck and then resort to what I always resort to, and that is asking you guys for help. Um, manuscript. Is he writing a story? This is quite interesting. <clears throat> Elizabeth jumped from her chair suddenly, all of the while looking at her mother. She seemed nervous. Mom, she asked, 
What if Mr. Mason doesn't find me interesting or pretty? Oh, sweetie, Mrs. Baker said. Don't you worry your pretty little head with such nonsense. Mr. Mason comes from a long line of public servants like his father and his father before that. They're the most boring people on earth. I'm sure he'll find you quite invigorating. You really think so? Elizabeth asked. Elizabeth! Mrs. Baker raised her voice slightly, annoyed by her daughter's doubtfulness. I said you'll do just fine. Now hurry on! Get yourself presentable. He'll be here soon. But mother, Elizabeth said tremblingly, I'm already wearing my prettiest dress. Oh dear, her mother gasped. Elizabeth broke into tears and ran upstairs to her room, passing her father in the hall. Holy shit, the bakers, I think. I, that feels like it should be a story. Oh, look, it's a hat. You used to have a hat just like this. What happened to it, Ted? It's a long story. That hat died, apparently. It's trash. Fascinating. Right? Fascinating trash. Let's check Ted, the bottle. are you working here? Don't act smart. Oh, that was actually kind of funny. Just an empty can. Fuck, I keep messing up the timing. The sum of a man's life can be found on his office desk. Is that why yours is full of booze? It's not full of booze. I have important papers there as well. Sure you do. Uh, okay, control panel. Uh, actually, specific magnet. Because I figured there would be something with magnets. I'll just take this with me. Okay, so my sleuthing sensor says there's a there's shafts in the diner. There are all, there's also a fishing rod. What do I have on me? I've got a Swiss Army knife, popcorn, a mug, pamphlet, oil, and a magnet. Good. Um, I should probably be able to do a thing on that. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, let's give what a shot. Display thingy. What's this display thingy here? Looks like a direct access terminal, but that won't help us much. Not that it's called a display thingy. What's the round thingy? What's this round thingy, Ted? It looks like a plane turn coordinator, but that makes no sense. Not at all. What's the switch thingy? What's the switch thingy? Do I look like a bridge raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. Like drinking. Button thingy. <laughs> What's this button thingy? Whatever you do, don't touch that one. Okay, okay. But I wanted to press it. Um... Oh boy. Let's just keep this between us. Because that's exactly what I would do in real life. Okay, so m there's a missing fuse. There's something missing. Or my name isn't Barbara. The fuse is missing, Barb. Okay, her name isn't Barbara, it's actually Amber. So, switch thingy, I have checked all the thingies. Display thingy. Okay, shall we exit out of all of the thingies? What's in the briefcase? What's in the box? Who carries a screwdriver around? I'm pretty sure that's his car key. I'll take it with me. We can return it later. You'll just take it. Really? You? Oh, shut up. Oh good, Grand Theft Auto. Okay, so there was a car parked outside the diner, I'm pretty sure that's what I needed. Which is, I love that I get distracted by absolutely everything, because that helps so much in point and click games, because I want to see what everything says. And sometimes it's really interesting, sometimes it's really boring, and this game likes to make fun of boring things. Uh, Clark, you can fuck off for well, like just a second. I can still go to Paper City, but I shouldn't, because that's backtracking, that's going back. We ended up from here to here. So, car, go to PC896. That's a thing. Are we just breaking into people's cars now? Don't worry. He won't mind. Or notice. We're both. Are we gonna kill him? Also, if that's a code to something, or if I'm missing something with that, please, guys, if you figure that out, Please let me know in the comments. Are we just breaking into people's cars now? Don't worry, he won't mind. Or notice, we're both. Oh fuck, I probably have to use the screwdriver key on the car. Like a glove. I'll take this, it could be useful. <laughs> like a glove? That just reminds me of Ace Ventura. I really hope we didn't scratch it. Don't worry about it. Pretty sure nobody would notice anyway. Did I get something from there? I got a fuse, which is good news, eh? 
Uh, Clarkson. Let me just talk to your creepy ass again. Sometimes doing things or or accomplishing an objective actually opens up dialogue in other people. Just kind of cool, I guess. Also, this timing thing, man. Any luck with the pretend fishing? <laughs> You're so funny, Snoop. He's really not. Okay, that's a big fat no. So let's go inside this thing. Hmm. I might need to go back to that stupid control center because I feel like there's something I'm missing. I don't know, I didn't click absolutely everything and then it sort of dawns on me that I might have missed something small that I'm really gonna need. Fuck, these walk cycles are killing me. Uh, okay. Betty. He was complaining that he can't keep his eyes open, so let's get him coffee. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? It is for... Oh, shit. It's not here. Oh, I figured I was being smarticles. Never mind. Okay, so I need to go back to that control center to see what I have missed. So hopefully... Hopefully it's something simple that I can just quickly click and then move on because this episode is dragging slightly and I would love to end it at some point. Um, also, in the event that anybody is actually interested in what a plug game would mean, Tasha's PC is being fixed at the moment and we can't really record any more Stardew with friends so this will probably be going up on Wednesdays and... Not Wednesdays, this will probably be going up on Tuesdays and Fridays. Just as a plug, and this is a little bit of a longer game, so hopefully I can get a couple of episodes out, and then by the time this is done, hopefully Tasha's PC is fixed again. Anybody that actually cares enough to watch this far into a video or listen to what I say, please tweet good things at him. He's my friend, and he's he really needs his stuff. Um, what is in the coat? Because that was sort of off-screen, and I missed that. There are a couple of coins in here. We'll just borrow them. Wow. I figured I was missing something. Coins for the jukebox. So, desk stuff, desk stuff, manuscript, uh, trash can, beer can, that thing, control. Okay, so I think that was the only thing I missed. We are not going to look for lamps again if that's what you're going for. Why not? Looking for lamps is best. Somebody really loves to draw boxes. Yes, they do, because they are a good space fuller, so don't be such a naggy little bitch. Um, as I was saying, Tash could use a little bit of attention. He does go a little bit stir-crazy when he does not have his PC, so guys, just tweet good vibes at him if you want to. Uh, that would be very, very nice of you to do. I'm pretty sure he will appreciate that as well. Okay, so back to the game. Let's get our asses in this diner, blast music from the jukebox, and hopefully wake up the dude whose name I forgot. What was his name again? It's pinned on him, it's fine. So, even, have, has it ever happened to anybody that you were talking to a person and then you've forgotten his name already? Pete. Hi, Pete. Uh, I should be using coins on you. That coin's very bent, that's probably not gonna work correctly, but let's try, anyway. Speedy Pete! Guys, can we hurry up, please? Like, this walk cycle. All right, come on, Fortune. God, fuck, he woke up for like a second and dropped his keys in the... Oh, fucking God. Ugh, okay. So now we probably need to get the keys out of there. Can't reach it by hand. Good thing there's an arsehole outside with a fishing pole. Betty, can I get him coffee yet? Because I'm pretty sure you, that needs to open as dialogue with you. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. It's not for her. Who's it for? Still not for clock. Fuck, Greg, maybe I just need to go speak to him quickly? Man, this walk cycle. This game would be like an hour shorter if I didn't have to walk everywhere for like 20 minutes. Slowly doodling along. Just getting there at our own pace. Not quite fitting in with the background. 
not 100% sure what's up with this walk cycle and I'm dropping frames for some reason. Sorry about that. Talk to the man, for fuck's sake. Clark, any chance we can borrow your fishing rod? Yeah, it's not like you need it anyways. No, no, I need it! For the cover. No, I have a feeling they'll start fighting soon. All the women you're harassing? The fish! I'm just here to fish, damn it. How about you two be useful for a change and go get me some coffee from the diner? I can barely keep my eyes open anymore. Why don't you go and get it? Um, I, I would, but I, um, I, I can't leave this here post for too long. Maybe we can keep an eye while you go get some coffee. Yeah. I mean, no one ever went to jail for getting the cup of coffee. You could be the first. You're just trying to get rid of me so you can steal my rod. No, we would never. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, if we get you some coffee, will you give us your fishing rod? I'll think about it. Don't think about it, just do it. Also, I know why he reminds me of Tashnal. The, for some reason, the way he talks, I don't know what it is, but that reminds me a lot of Tash. Also, he's constantly fishing, which is also a Tash thing to do. Considering he did that for like, probably well around 40 episodes of the 60 of Stardew with Friends we have. Like, holy shit. Okay, Betty, please run through this whole, like, whole thing of dialogue again while I slowly wander up to you. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can, um... It's not for... Who's it for? Okay, sorry if it pissed everybody off that I skipped that, but I just want to get to the thing. It's for Clark quote-unquote fisherman out there my god he's relentless you can give him this tell him i've made it especially for him did you you didn't poison the do i look like a murderer to you i mean not right now oh my god i've spiked it with some pepper ted spiked it with some pepper you say why does that feel like such a terrible fucking idea oh my goodness Okay, so what do we have? We have the magnet, we've got the coffee, we've got a coin left, we've got the fuse. Shit, I should probably go put in the fuse. Um, I'm pretty sure as soon as we get the fishing pole, we can do fishing line, we can attach the magnet to that. Life will be glorious. I'm also pretty sure I need to put the coffee pots in the coffee. Yep, figured. Voila, this, it's complete. This game is very clever like that. Uh, clock, my boy. I brought you some spice some normal non-spiked coffee let me just slowly walk over to you in the rain in a short sleeve shirt and a very long dress taking my sweet time to get to you with my bear following at least five person lengths behind me so that i can menacing menacingly walk up to you stop look you dead in the eyes boy and then my bear will come from behind and stare you in the other eye here you go buddy betty said she made it especially for you Hmm. Smells lovely. Sure does. It smells like Pippa. <laughs> oh Christ, we killed him. Oh dear. Clark, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm soaked and it's freezing. Throw me something and get me out, you two idiots. Huh. Flattery won't get you anywhere, Clark. I feel so bad about this. I don't. Called me an idiot. I am not going through trash. I thought we established that. When did we establish that? Please take the fishing rod. I'm sure Sneezy won't mind. No, Sneezy's probably going to die of hypothermia. Uh, Alright guys, I think I'm going to call this episode here. I hope you've been enjoying the story and I hope I don't complain about the walk cycle too much for you guys. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like or upvote button. And if you want to stick around for a little bit more content, bat that follow button because it is dangerous to go alone. It's been Ken, and you guys have been amazeballs as always, and I will see you next time. Bye bye